Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the Leech, Lee Jilang versus Carlos Predas. The Leech, 19 and 8, 2 and 3 in his last five fights. His last losses have been hard, man. Neil Magny decision. Neil looked really good in the clinch. Got back on track and destroying Santiago Ponzinibbio. Lost to Hamzat Chemaev. Bad, bad, bad fight there. Destroyed Muslim Talikov two years ago. And then lost to Daniel Rodriguez in a weird, weird uh, uh, event. Um, a bunch of things were shifted around. Tony and fight Nate Diaz, Hamza uh, Holland. Very, very strange. But the Leech won that fight very clearly. Plus 190 underdog. Uh, was six foot tall with a 72 inch reach. 36 years old. Carlos Paredes, 19 and 6. Minus 230 favorite. 31 years old. Six foot one with a 78 inch reach. Six inch reach advantage for Carlos Paredes. Now, the Leech, if you look at it, 19 and 8. He's 11 and 6 in the UFC. He's been submitted twice. He has 14 finishes with 10 finishes on the feet. He has uh, seven first-round finishes. He's for surely fought the better of competition, 100% the, you know, the case. I really believe that. But there's just something about Carlos Pratis. Nine-fight win winning streak. He has been finished five out of his six times. Uh, 17 finishes overall with eight first-round finishes. He's done pretty well everywhere he's gone. Um did, was losing the fight against Trevin, uh, Trevin Giles pretty handedly until he found that straight left. It was a beautiful shot and a great performance by Giles up until that moment. Destroyed Mitch Ramirez, which he should have, and he did. And then he mauled Charles Radke, which, thank you, get him out of here. Um, now, his losses are weird. His losses are weird. Um, if, you, if you've watched his fights... He's been finished a couple of times back in the day before he probably figured out his length and, you know, how probably even his gym, all these, all these things. It, it's been a little strange for him at times, for sure. 100% I won't disagree with that. But I just think at this point, the leech throws wide. Uh, Praetis throws straight punches. He has very good knees. And I just see this style of... Uh, the leech moving forward, looking for big hooks, looking to grapple, having to close that distance, and Praetis landing knees after knees after knees, uppercuts, straights. Now, if Praetis doesn't move his head and he exchanges with him in the inside, then he can get caught with a big hook, like Ponzinibbio did, how like Salikov did. So there's there is chances, there is a subject to change clearly, but I think just Praetis is. Just a bit on, on a bit of a run. And I don't think the Leech is the guy that's going to stop that. Can he? For sure. Because Praetis has been, you know, Giles was touching him. Red, I think, touched him with one left. It didn't hurt Praetis, but he did get touched by it. Um, so those, those are concerns for sure. But I just think Carlos Praetis at this point in his career is just that guy. He's just that guy. And I don't think the Leech is the one to stop it. But as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know you're picking. Peace.